BBSYST has the capability of studying, sizing, and analyzing grid-connected, standalone, pumping, and DC grid PV systems. It also includes an extensive media and PV system component databases, as well as general solar energy tools. It is a powerful software that allows for the simulation of energy flows through a PV system in order to estimate energy output, performance ratio, and for other means like financial analysis. And that is only just scratching the surface. It is considered as a leading industry standard for assisting in the determination of whether a PV system can be considered as a bankable investment. The software has a diverse audience as it can be used by a wide range of professions including architects, engineers, researchers and electricians. Before we delve into the nuts and bolts of project simulation, let's touch on some general hardware and software requirements of PVSYST. PVSYST has some software requirements to allow it to effectively operate. It is a window-based software, so it can run on all client versions currently supported by Windows, namely Windows 8 and 10, as well as regularly updated Windows 7 systems. However, PVSYST can only run on operating systems like Mac OS X and Linux if they are supported through the use of a virtual machine that can run Windows to operate. It also has additional hardware requirements to operate. These factors are outlined on PVSYST's download page when you go to download the software from their website. Prior to downloading, we definitely recommend that your computer is appropriately sized and runs the correct operating system to ensure that it will run smoothly for you. Now, let's jump into a brief summary of the functionality of PVSYST. PVSYST offers multiple levels of PV system study. The software is designed to correspond to different stages in the development of a real project. So, let's go over a brief high-level summary of what it can do. Using the project design tool, you have the ability to design four types of systems. Grid connected, standalone, solar pumping, and DC grid systems. We are going to be exploring the grid connected project tool. Here you can define a project and perform multiple simulations, and you actually can compare them. Here you have a greater control over a much wider variety of system design parameters. For example, the size of the system all the way down to the chosen model of the PV module, inverter, battery pack, or pump, depending on the type of system simulated. You can also define additional, more detailed parameters and fine effects like thermal behavior, wiring, module quality, mismatch, shading from the far horizon, or partial shadings of the near objects on the PV array. The results of the project design tool include numerous simulation variables, which may be displayed in monthly, daily, or hourly values, and can even be transferred to other software. A primary feature in the output in the results is the loss diagram which is useful in identifying the weaknesses of the system design. A report can also be printed for each simulation run, including all parameters used for the simulation, and the main results. The tool can also allow for a more detailed economic evaluation, which can be performed using real component prices, any additional costs, and investment conditions. It is also useful because you can run P50 to P90 estimations which are essential for energy guarantees. The database management tool is where you can import, export, manage and alter all meteorological data and PV related components. With geographical and meteorological data, this tool has the capability of creating and managing of geographical sites generating and visualizing meteorological data sets, and importing meteorological data sets from several predefined sources or from custom ASCII files. PVSYS features a large inbuilt database of components relating to PV systems, such as PV modules, inverters, batteries, generators, and pumps. With the tool, you can import components from the database, export components from the database, create custom components inside the database, alter the properties of pre-existing components inside the database, and 
record details of manufacturers and retailers, and define component prices for financial analysis.